What up? Hello. New week, new lifestyle, new, new Monday. You, new me. Yeah. You know, just new everything, guys. This is a really refreshing energy, and honestly, it's just so nice to share it with you. We're going to pause and reflect for three seconds. Straight up, and we are grateful. My name's Campbell Walker. My name's Bryce Mills. And this show is called God Is Dead. And what we do is we take the worst things that we can find on the internet and we use them as evidence to prove our theory that God has abandoned us. Yes, yeah, the first time this is a podcast that may just, if you have a little happiness in there, it's going to get rid of it real quick and simple. Bang, 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 bang. That's but, me killing your happiness. Well, right everyone there. that listens feels the same. You can take some comfort in that. Um, straight so, up, straight up, yeah. I'd rather yeah. be united by cynicism than alienated with my happiness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. I need people around me because... I have problems. <laughs> New tagline. Because <laughs> I'm a sick and twisted mind, bro. Get that on a Facebook I'm shirt. the Joker. <laughs> I need a, a constant stream of people around me because I have anger management issues and a short temper, <laughs> etc. Because I'm highly dependent on attention. And I was born in September and I'm a boss, <laughs> uh, etc. If you know, you know. Uh, all right. Where are we going? I think we're deep diving, yes? We are deep diving. And this is a dive that I've wanted to, be, wanted to take deep for a little minute now. And I've specifically asked you not to learn anything about this man. Yeah. Because I I want it to be fresh. If you know about this, you'll know where this is heading. If you don't, you don't. Either way, I hope you enjoy it. Because God today, is. we are talking about Blippi. God is dead. Deep dive. Blippi. Sorry, I, was la- I shouldn't laugh. I it's a say. funny name to say with a deep, deep voice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Blippi. It's, uh, <laughs> it doesn't quite hit. Blippi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we've tried sometimes with these. They take nine times. Like, Blippi. Like, it just... Blippi. Yeah, it sounds like a kid's show, but all right. Where well, are we? Let's hear Blippi say Blippi. Where are we going? So, so this is the intro to Blippi. Blippi... Blippi is a children's performer on YouTube, and that usually can mean one of about three things. Either mm. it means it's somebody who's trying to be a children's performer and failing desperately, it's somebody who shouldn't be a children's performer and is like succeeding wildly, or it means that they're actually a genuinely good children's performer. Yeah, so I guess like category one, we, I don't know if there's any good examples, but the second one that's like shouldn't be but is is sort of like your like Jake Paul type situation. Yeah, or like Jay Station. Jay Station, they're v- very good at it, but and they're getting mad views, NNA Productions, but they should not be allowed to exactly is and this... that's largely the largest category now the thing about blippy is i actually think he sits in the third category he's a genuine talent he's a genuine talent so okay. i'll show you the intro of blippy a blippy compilation of educational videos for toddlers sink or float and more so and he's getting more. that algorithm this is half dislikes to likes so. <laughs> yeah but it's 84 million views oh, actually okay. all of his videos seem to have a really heavy dislike ratio and i can't <laughs> I, I genuinely after like living with this guy up on my screen on like I can't figure out why mm. so much to learn about it'll make you want to shout Blippi hey it's me Blippi so Blippi himself is this guy Stephen John he's born in 98 1988 so he's only two years older than me so uh, I call him what 32 yeah and he's created this character Blippi so Blippi you can see here he wears this kind of blue lavender shirt he's got his orange suspenders orange bow tie he's got the orange big glasses with no lenses in them mm. and that big silly train driver's hat he went and saw a 3D movie once yeah and took out the lenses <laughs> and now every party he's pulling up like this I swear my life a 3D movie yeah bro. <laughs> um, and, and his stuff is pretty good I'll show you the homepage of his channel I've just gone uh, videos by views. It looks fucking legit. It looks legit because it is legit. He's got 11.8 million subscribers. Okay. <laughs> so what's the hate? What the well, hell? Yeah. This is a deep dive, Bryce. I mean, this is a deep I, dive. I hate like... Like that kind of just because it's not for me. That's because you're broken inside. And I've just seen too many clowns do... You know, like literal clowning? Yeah. Is a form of comedy and I've got people I, I care about that do it. So I can't be throwing like... Uh, <laughs> Across clown the phobic shade, statements, but like, <laughs> not hit a clown shame. Man, it's it's a bit hard. it's tough sometimes. Well, um, what yeah. isn't tough is Blippi's revenue. So it's estimated on Social Blade that he'd be earning like you know, call it one point five, maybe even two million a month. A month. A month. US. Whoa! And look at this. This. Ah, this is a tank. Yeah. I think we should fill it up with water to ride about here and then gather items so then we can put them in the tank with the water and see if the items will either sink or float. 
Here we've got all the views on on Blippi. So, like, these are his most popular ones. Wow. Blippi learns about jungle animals for kids. How many views has his most popular video got? 745, is it? 743 million. Oh, I just can't see the angle. Yeah, like, he's not a baller, bro. He's yeah, got wow. 10 million Relax. less than that. I love that. Even his rounding error, that's, like, the most views that I've ever gotten in a video. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, wow. I mean, the second most one is 287 milli, 271 mil, 267 mil. 200 mil seems like uh, playground numbers for him. It really does. He's got a lot that have around that. I worked out from this, from his most viewed video, he probably has gotten $13 million off that, off AdSense oh, alone. Out. And that would be a big pillar of his revenue. But okay. Blippi also does merch. Blippi's got a line of toys. Oh, and the to- the, the whoa. Thing, yeah, Blippi's... Toys in stores that are legit? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like even sold DVDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, the, and the okay. Thing, yeah, no, Blippi's a pretty legit I children's feel like performance. I'm just, I'm just like, because I feel like there's a huge twist coming. So I'm like... Oh, what? I'm no! I'm like, fuck. Like, it, surely this is is all self-made but right he's like co-signed by companies and stuff well no blippy blippy has since Stephen john i should say has since created like the blippy the company and blippy the company has blippy the character who we see on youtube okay and also all of the, the blippy range okay. now within those toys some of them do start to get a little bit sus so that video <laughs> that we did watch was called sink or float where blippy works out whether things will sink or float mm-hmm. there is a sink or float kit and it's just kind of got junk and you're meant to assemble the water in the tank yourself to work it out also he's not in a studio he's like sitting in a park yeah and he, filming this it's not and, like he's in the blippy studios and this is actually kind of like a common thing with blippy videos is he'll do like tours so he's got a big hard on for like tractors sorry he loves tractors. Okay. I don't know why I've got to use that language. In but he's horny fans, as fuck. They see this on the algorithm like, Blippi. Blippi. Yeah, nah, dude. Dude, Stephen John is horny as fuck for construction stuff. Shit, so he's yeah. clearly got his forklift license because he drives a forklift a lot in these. He okay. loves tractors. He says he grew up on a farm, which honestly checks out the way he behaves. You know, yeah, be right. Like, oh, cool tour of like the big engine in a fire engine and stuff right. like that. He goes to the zoo. He does a lot of like, come with me and we'll go explore this trampoline In world. character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As or Blippi. like, Stephen John? vlogs no 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 in character and it's funny that you mentioned that (laughs) because blippy as a character what would you think if you bought a ticket to blippy the musical oh um who do you think would be there at at a a blippy live no 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 who do you think would be on stage if you bought a blippy live ticket him steven john as blippy yeah (laughs) so this is one of of many controversies no this is one of two controversies and this is the light one so here's blippy the musical right We've got Blippi the Musical. It says, Woo, we are so excited because this is our first time you can see Blippi in his newest adventure. Blippi the Musical, you and your whole family are going to have much fun dancing, singing, and meeting amazing new friends live on stage in your town. Wow, look at that. It's a plane, a tractor, a fire truck, and a train. Just uh, just some of the many discoveries we're going to make together. What did you discover? You just saw something. Yeah, no, straight up. Oh, right. it's a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New discovery alert. Guys, I discovered this plane that somebody <laughs> built. Yeah. A real terra nullius hours and uh fuck um leave it in and um the it's all in cartoon form so it's not co-signed by physical human flesh blippy and it's funny that you say that so there are numerous reports oh, that happen it's just like a fucking it's just they put on a, a fucking projector and like <laughs> <laughs> no 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 it's not that bad but so at the time when blippy the musical first came out the the, the tickets between if you're at the front of the stage was 70 bucks and right at the back was 26 bucks okay. so like like reasonable yeah. but there was this add on for about 50 dollars extra you could do a meet and greet with blippy yeah here's the thing about blippy even though every one of these views, Blippi has only ever been played by Stephen John. Yeah. When they got to Blippi Live, it was a Stephen. Jo- uh, it was a Blippi impersonator. Oh. It wasn't the real Blippi. It was another guy. Uh huh. It wasn't Stephen John. Whoops. Can uh, you imagine uh, is that? that? Is that sort of illegal? Well, it's not because if we scroll here, oh. we see in this tiny little section here. This used to be even smaller on the website. It says Stephen John is the creator of Blippi and acts as the writer and creative force behind the Blippi character. As opposed to him being Blippi. Now that Blippi has evolved as a character, he is excited that a dynamic stage performer has been cast as Blippi oh. to entertain and thrill audiences across all of the tour markets. Why, I wonder. And like Well, the his it reason was even was, smaller text. Yeah, his Fuck. reason was and like he even had like Ticketmaster say, Oh, it's like Disney on Ice, you're not actually gonna see the people who play Pumba. Right. Only I But think, hold on. Hold yeah. on. We've seen all these views as Blippi. Now that's a small blip. Huh? Mm-hmm. In Blippi's history, yeah. Blippi otherwise I think is pretty good. But like, I would 
I would say this would be like seeing Mr. Bean live and it wasn't Rowan Atkinson. Put your hands together and get ready to rock out with the one, the only, Blippi. So the musical thing happened, but other than that, Blippi's actually a pretty cool guy. I, I started to dig into Blippi's history okay. and I found, you know, he's doing all this cool stuff. He's got a video where he skateboards with Sean White. And he's not in the he's not in the hat or anything. Is that Sean or is that Blippi? No, that's Sean White. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the <laughs> that guy's like, like full <laughs> it's pro. It's like Olympic level. But it is funny that you say that because Blippi's actually like he's a reasonably fit dude. Like when you watch some of the craziest stuff, like mm. you can do all the monkey bars, and the reason is he's a veteran. He actually used to fly in the air force. So oh, yeah, hence why he loves all the fucking Blippy and the Chopper type stuff. Straight up. So I'm like, man, what else do we not know about this guy? What else <laughs> yeah. don't we know? And turns out. That when he started Blippy, it wasn't the first time that he had been on the internet. I knew this was fucking coming. Yeah, you knew this was coming. You knew this shit was coming. Mm. This shit's always coming, isn't it? Okay. So, Steve and John, this isn't the first time he's tried to go viral. This is the most successful time he's been viral as Uh Blippy, which I will remind you of the sounds he makes as Blippy. Yeah, a little bit of this. It's me, Blippi. I'm going to sound a bit shady, but I feel like, God, the barrier to entry is, is lower than it should be on YouTube, man. Like, I get that this shit is hard, but like... But dude, if you were making like 30 milli, yeah, like... I could put on a voice. Yeah. Let's go. Let's like, do it, kids. Yeah. Oh, Come man. on now. Maybe that is my calling. Maybe somebody will one day splice in this clip right now with when I become the next <laughs> Blippi. Anyway, so now I'm going to splice in what Blippi was doing before this. So yeah. there was a period of time, I believe this was around 2000, no, I will call it 12. Sure. When gross out <laughs> comedy was a thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, even before on, that, depending on who you are, it's still a thing. It's or still a it thing. It might not be making you mad money, but, but yeah, that's so. It for me. He created another character. Steve and John created a character called Steezy Grossman, who I quote, this is Steezy Grossman's thing. John started making gross out videos in 2013 under the persona of Steezy Grossman, a boy who was born to poop after his parents had anal sex. <gasps> <laughs> Under Steezy Wait, Grossman, he was conceived via anal sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he means? was born to take shits, right? Under his Steezy Grossman alias, he was birthed out of the asshole. Yeah, he was. John developed videos such as Turd Boy and Underwear Man. Now, in wait, t- is this part of his fucking professional bio that he like sends to like <laughs> at brands? No, no. This is what's been dug up by people on. Oh, Blippi. I see. And like, here's the thing, Poopedia. In, yeah, yeah, straight up. And in, <sighs> in 2013, there was a trend called the Harlem Shake, which we all know was a dance, like a flash mob type thing. If you ever want to feel better about yourself, look up Harlem Shake on YouTube and then sort by most recently uploaded. (laughs) It's fucking interesting. Guys, we finally got approval from management. It's it's a (laughs) go-ahead for corporate hours. So so (laughs) Now this will make everyone want to enroll to like Tilopia Public School. Right, yeah. So if you're a gross out comedian and there's a trend going on, you're going to make a gross video that follows that trend. Yeah. And Steezy Grossman, aka Stephen John, aka Blippy, Do the whole 11 shit. months before Blippy was conceived, I want to really stress how tight this timeline Quick is. Quick turnaround of branding. Yeah. Made a video called the Harlem Shake Poop. <laughs> Bryce, I'm going to show you this. You're going to react, okay. and then you are going to describe exactly what you saw to our listeners. Okay. Steezy Grossman is the... Uh, you've definitely sourced this from an interesting place. I, I had to use the Wayback Machine. This is Internet Archive. Ah. According to his lawyers, this has been wiped on wiped from the internet, but nothing's been wiped from the internet. We know better. Shit. That's Blippi. <laughs> the dude taking the shit is Blippi. <laughs> oh my god, tell me what you just saw. Tell me what you just saw. <laughs> How fucked up is that? How fucked up is that? That's cry. fucking Blippi, dude. Blippi was the one taking the shit. <laughs> Tell everybody. 
Tell everybody, Bryce. <gasps> okay, so we have... Um, look, let me just play this on mute so I can watch it again. Um, we have Blippi with a bike helmet on and sunglasses sitting on a toilet uh, with, obviously, pants down, ready to do a poo, but it's sort of dancing a little bit. HarlemShakePoop.com is at the top. So clearly they were wanting this to be a moment. He's sitting in a pretty whatever kind of bathroom. And then when the music cuts and it, or the drop happens, an unnamed person is sitting upside down in the corner of the room, sort of up against the wall, but their head is on the floor. And what are they wearing? Nothing. Absolutely and nothing. They're completely a, naked. Like the censored exposing as much of their genitals as possible while they're like kind of contorted in the corner. They're wearing goggles and um Blippy or you know, uh what's this guy's name again? Stephen, Stephen John, aka um, Steezy Grossman. He's now standing on the toilet seat and looking at the camera squatting and at first I'm like, Oh, cool. Like they're just dancing naked. They're just dancing naked. But then the music but, drops. Yeah, and then <laughs> Poo sprays. Flippy takes a huge diuretic Explosive shit all diarrhea. over his friend's naked asshole. All <laughs> over it. And you can hear the friend kind of... Um, it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. And there's fucking solid chunks of it too. It's like sprayed, right? It's so fucked up, man. And the friend is obviously... Grappling that some of it's in his mouth and um, Good he's, thing he's wearing goggles, dry reaching and trying not to vomit and um, and they're still kind of dancing. He's still kind of shaking his legs. He's super stoked with himself. Thanks for sharing, smiley face. Uh, <sighs> I need a shower after seeing that. <sighs> wow. Final judgment. If you've never listened to the show before, this is the part of the podcast where we ask, does the content that we have endured prove whether or not God has died? Bryce, Steezy Grossman, a.k.a. Blippi, is God dead? Oh, man. Um, well, like, are we talking about that particular video? Yes. Uh, <laughs> shitting all over your naked friends, spraying anal slime like that is not okay. Um, it's really, really, really confronting. It's like, I just wonder with this shit, man, like... You know, if I was talking about this last night, like if you're a, let's say you're a comedian trying to make viral videos, right? You think about where that can take you. Maybe you have become a host of a TV show. Maybe you work on the radio. Maybe you um, go tour and, and take your show on the road. When you squat and projectile diarrhea all over your friend... You get viral. There's just no way that doesn't go viral. But what does that then get capitalized into? What does that then lead you to? Like, like a jackass career at best. And, and that's like, hopefully, you know, like I, and less so these days. I feel like maybe back then, yes. Oh, yeah. These days, I think no one's really looking for that in their lives. No, they? no, no. It comes up <laughs> very unwarranted. So I just like, the chase, you know, it's so sad. The chase. That is a real confronting moment. I don't know the thought process behind... Look, he remixed the genre. The Harlem Shake has never been the same. I appreciate the creativity. But, fuck, oh, that's, that's so... That's a lot. That's a lot to look at. So, what, is God dead? That video, God's dead. The rebrand? Why did a lawyer um, need to be involved to take it off the internet when he made it himself? Well, if you were, I guess his team were involved, but I mean, that's what his lawyer said. That was... You mean the lawyer said it to parents? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Rest assured, your kid won't look up Blippi and see that video. Basically. I see. Poor guy. Look, God is dead because the internet follows us. We're all making mistakes. And in one way, you can look at it as, well, look, the standard has been lowered because everyone's making mistakes. So everyone can just be like, you can pull receipts up and go, hey, well, Cam... Yeah, sure, your self-help YouTube videos are all fine and dandy, but what about in 2009 when you said something on Facebook about how your dad was dumb? Oh, Isn't that a little bit offensive? And then you go, oh dumb my God, people. I was, I was just a kid. And, and, you know, these days, I think you can even see it now in the last couple of years, people being a bit more understanding of that kind of stuff. For Which example, I love. Like a, a kid being yeah, 13 and going like, I hate my mum. And people going... Yeah, whatever. So, uh, yeah, the internet. Unfortunately, it's this beast that, that's going to follow us forever. I feel, yeah, I feel bad for the guy. Like that that moment 
that tunnel vision that creators get where it's like, need to go viral, need to go viral, need to go viral. Um, I want to get into character based stuff. I'm going to do this. Um, you know, he, he found a new avenue of stuff that he was into. Interesting. It was kids stuff. I don't know what that says about him, but like <laughs> yeah. maybe we all have, actually that makes, that's a fucking theory I've been working on not to go everywhere and every, every, everywhere and anywhere in this conclusion, but like, like thinking about children's performers and you know, when you get, a, you're a famous children's performer. You have to start thinking about, well, hey, if I'm at the pub right now, I can't be too rowdy because what if a kid sees me? We, we both know someone who's a children's performer and I think, like, for them... Quite a few people, actually. It's, it's a, understanding, yeah. though. It's most a good parents, genre of friend. Yeah, parents understand, all right, well, you're an adult, it's okay, but you still got to worry about that stuff. But I always wondered if those people need to sacrifice so much for their job, are the thrills they seek when they can go wild just so much more wild because of that deprivation? Blippy, maybe that's an example of deep down he he has those instincts, but he needs to like monetize the kids stuff, and that's what he does to get his rocks off elsewhere. I don't know, but um, God's dead from just the shitting, sure, but like, <laughs> and the you know the the trickery of the of the live show that's a bit that's that's unfortunate. Um, that was that was my red herring to be like, oh, is I, this the controversy? I might also add though that there's an argument to say God's alive because the ability to be able to give an be to be given the chance to rebrand like that's that what i think and make a, a life for, for yourself. me god is 100 percent alive because of that like i think so often with the internet and the whole internet never forgetting people might be terrified into not taking risks and i think that's that's just a shame like i am personally always going to forgive everybody that's just my nature i think like everybody makes mistakes freaking chill dude yeah and that if, video only harms him and the guys getting shat on yeah but straight up like they're both consenting so, like, is, mm. is it really that bad? It's and consensual diarrhea, explosive all over the face. Honestly, like, and who are we to king shame, Bryce? So, yeah, shit play. Yeah, straight up. Like, honestly, like, get scatty, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot keep that up. But what, what, what I, I am... I think that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. scatty, bro. Get scatty, bro. Uh, but what I will say <laughs> is that is probably one of the grossest things you can do, and yet he can still go on to be one of the, like, absolute gods of... of Child's YouTube. Yeah. It's amazing. I, the willpower to like know that in the back of your mind, that's always there. And is that why the dislikes are so high on the video? I wondered if that's the reason, but we'll never know. That's a lot though. Yeah. And it, it feels like Harlem Shake was a long time ago. So it would be weird that that's following him like seven years later or whatever. Yeah. Okay. I, I might say God's alive too. Just um, we all have a second chance. Um, well. Gorgeous. Not everybody. Not everybody. Blippy does. Blippy does. <laughs> it's shower time. That's right. Take Oi. a shower. <laughs> yep. If um, anybody is out there digging in the archives, please do not trap in Bryce Mills Harlem poop. That is not what we want to say. Lawyers will be coming for you, and I do really hope that that was a chapter that was just for when I was nine. Yep. Millsy is staying clean, and Millsy is still happening. Thank you. Uh, remember, you can stop that at any time. If you're listening and you want to text stop... <laughs> to whatever number maybe that's a foreshadowing moment hey you never know about next week we never know subscribe to the pod subscribe to the youtube go to the instagram and say something um get involved but this is something you got to share with someone if they might be interested in a little deep dive like that they can find plenty more around the episodes or they can find a different type of app there's something for everyone hell yeah follow bryce at bryce v mills campbell walker's ruthless 69 and god is dead at god is dead not clickbait it's all there do you like my presenter voice by the way that was kind of fun do you want to show me a bit more of it like hi bryce how do you do (laughs) i'm at woolies or something attention all shoppers yeah attention all shoppers please return to aisle five where it's a good thing you've got to put on i think like that's a skill not everyone can do that and not sound like they're reading have you got one like a a woolies voice yeah yeah give me a woolies voice yeah sure okay like um do the conclusion thank you for listening um and I hope you all have a lovely day. So, uh, no, that, was, that was a bit too casual. Good afternoon, God is Dead listeners. This episode is now ending. Please head to the front of the store to finalise your purchases. I, yours is so cetera, much better than mine. Yours is so good. Look, I've, uh, I've dreamed of one day getting that job, so <laughs> <laughs> I've been practising. Well, case. thank you very much for doing it, and we will see you next week. Of course. Love you. Love, plan. Love all shoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Case closed.